Meanwhile, dubious claims of Russian connection risen to award-winning re levels. The New York Times has secured one of the most reputable prizes in journalism for a story about President Trump's ties to Russia. That's despite one of its articles being debunked by the FBI. Caleb Morpin delved a little deeper. The George Polk Award is one of the most prestigious awards in journalism. And the award for discovering connections between Donald Trump and the Russians goes to the New York Times and the Washington Post. Special recognition goes out this year to the staffs of the New York Times and the Washington Post for their extraordinary effort in uncovering the connection between the Trump presidential campaign and the Kremlin that led to special counsel Robert Mueller's ongoing investigation. Yes, these bold reporters investigated and uncovered that Donald Trump's family has direct ties to some Russian spies. Now, what a huge discovery. No wonder they won this huge award. Except that's not actually true. Take the New York Times article with the headline, Trump campaign aides had repeated contact with Russian intelligence. It was debunked by FBI Director James Comey, not exactly Trump's biggest fan or promoter. Would it be fair to characterize uh, that story as almost entirely wrong? Yes. People talking about it often don't really know what's going on, and those of us who actually know what's going on are not talking about it. And we don't call the press to say, hey, you got that thing wrong about this sensitive topic. We just have to leave it there. So over half a year ago, the story was actually refuted by former FBI Director James Comey. But still, that's not considered big enough of a reason that we shouldn't be proud of these journalists for their bold investigative work. Michael, you've uh, broken so many stories this past year, and I've referred to you in a column as the ubiquitous Michael Schmidt because you are at the center of so many of these things and breaking them. What exactly are they being awarded for? Perhaps it was written in a particularly good prose style. It gripped the reader's attention like an action novel or another good work of fiction. Here's what the head of the Polk Awards said. With smartphones and social media, we have never had more access to information, and yet truth is more elusive than ever. The Polk Awards honor truth. The New York Times did run a correction like any good newspaper. An earlier version of a photo caption with this article gave an incorrect middle initial for Paul Manafort. It is J, not D. That's what you call honest journalism, at least when it comes to initials. Caleb Maupin, RT, New York.